light. Hi everyone, it's Ashley and I know it's been kind of a while since I filmed or sat down and filmed something for you guys. You know, I just haven't sat down and filmed in a while. I don't know, I'm, I've kind of missed just kind of sitting down and talking like this. But I'm getting kind of sick. I woke up with a cold, I think, this morning. Oh well, just bear with me on that. As you may know, the school year is right around the corner. It kind of sucks to say that because I love summer and I know a lot of people do. But as much as I love summer, it's great to get back into the school year and have a schedule again and, you know, see all your friends and everything. But basically, today's video is an advice video for going into high school. You may be a freshman going into high school, maybe you're still in middle school and you just want to hear a little bit about high school, or maybe you're going to a whole new different high school and you're just not sure what to expect. I'm here to help you. I'm actually going to be a rising junior this year, so I'm going into 11th grade. I've had two years of high school and I think I have had enough experience to make this video for you guys. Also, I know a lot of you guys are going back to school in August and it is almost August now, so I figured that this would be a great time to upload this video. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is the homework and workload of high school. So basically, it's definitely going to be a lot more. From my experience, I know that I saw like a drastic change in the amount of homework I was given and the workload we did in class because um, as a middle schooler, you know, I didn't really have as much homework, I guess. Uh, it, things were a lot easier for me. High school was different. There's more homework. There's more classes that are more challenging, I guess. But it largely depends on the classes that you're taking, which brings me to the next thing. Um, the classes that you're taking can be a lot more challenging just because they're high school classes and then you're introduced to AP classes, which are advanced placement. And, you know, I don't know if um, some schools do like regular and honors and AP, some do just regular and honors. It all depends on your school, but I know that definitely you'll be exposed to um, more challenging classes and like different curriculums. So just keep that in mind, you're going to be introduced to harder classes and um, with that comes homework and workload changes, so keep that in mind. It's not too bad, but I mean, you know, it can be tricky trying to balance everything. So the next thing I thought I'd mention are teachers. Everyone has a different opinion about, like, their teachers, and uh, you're going to be introduced to um, teachers that won't care about you, <laughs> or teachers that will be very caring about you. Um, the whole point of high school, you know, you're becoming more independent, so the teachers aren't going to, like, be holding your hand like they did in middle school, basically. You're going to need to keep track of everything and not rely on your teachers to do everything for you. They're there to teach you and help you, but they're going to let you be more independent. But then again, don't be afraid to talk to your teachers because I know that high school, you know, it can be pretty stressful and it's always great to have um, kind of like an adult just to listen to you. Oh, also for me, my classes changed a lot because in middle school we had seven blocks and um, in I think those were 45 minutes I, I think and then when I got to high school we only had four blocks um, four classes a semester so one semester four blocks next semester four different blocks and those were all an hour and a half so then I also had a B days and I don't I don't know how you guys necessarily do it because a lot of different um, because a lot of different schools do it all differently, but where I am, um, we have A-B days, which basically means one day you go to a certain class, and then the other day you go to a different class, and you switch off like that. So for me, it was A day, I had band, and then on a B day, I would go to um, physical education, which isn't required to take all four years in my high school. I don't know about you guys, but um, it's not required, so that's why I'm doing economics and personal finance this upcoming year. So it switches off like that. It's really weird. Um, so the thing I noticed though about our class is that they're definitely longer and um, there's only four in a day. There's only four blocks in a day. So that was a little bit different for me. It's easy to get used to. I like having four blocks in a day just because it sounds shorter so it makes the day feel shorter. It all just depends on your high school and I know I keep saying that but um, it largely just depends on your high school although there are some things that are kind of similar across the board. Next thing I wanted to talk about kind of all blends together and that's friendship new experiences, meeting new people, and extracurriculars. And I know that kind of sounded like a bunch of stuff mashed up together, but um, it actually all pretty much goes together. So let's talk about meeting new people. You're going to make a lot more friends if you allow yourself to do so. Um, I strongly recommend 
definitely meeting new people because my high school is actually like a big melting pot. There are a lot of schools that went into it and that's how my middle school was like too. But um, in high school you just meet a lot more people. I don't know. I just think it's a great atmosphere. I think it's great to meet new faces and talk to new people and make new friends. So if you need like an icebreaker or something, if you're shy, definitely just talk about school, like talk about homework or a certain class that you may have with this person or something like that. Honestly, just sit with them at lunch. Be like, hey, can I sit with you? So with that um, comes friendships and you know, you go into high school with people that you're friends with and I hate to say it, but you may not walk out of high school. Um, with the same people that you walked into high school with, if that makes sense. My group of friends, we've been friends since middle school, and we are still going strong, and <laughs> not that many people can say that. I guess just because people have differences, things change throughout high school, people change throughout high school, and you know, it all depends if you drift apart or not. So keep that in mind. I mean, you're going to meet more people anyways, but you just need to remember who's there for you, who's not, and um, who your real friends are basically. But I'm not saying that it's not gonna happen, that your friends are um, gonna just leave you. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that because my friends, we have all been friends for so long and it's still going strong and we're all, you know, we all get along so it's great. Um, so I mean, it, it just depends. You wanna be surrounded by people that appreciate your presence. They want, you wanna be surrounded by people who want you to be there, you know? and. Um, I have seen so many just fake friends and just uh, it, the whole thing, it, you know, it's really screwed up. Be positive, surround yourself with positive energy and people, and um, you know, don't, don't hang with the wrong crowd. That brings you to the next thing. New experiences. High school is full of them. You're going to be introduced and exposed to a lot of different people substances. <laughs> With that, I'm meaning like drugs and alcohol. It all just depends on who you are. So going into high school, definitely make sure that you remember who you are. Stay true to yourself because ultimately mom and dad are not always going to be there. What I'm trying to say basically is you're going to be exposed to a lot of new and different things which can be exciting and can also be scary. Just keep that in mind because um, things will be a little bit different. Just always remember the consequences of what you are doing and just everything like that. Next thing is extracurriculars and that kind of ties in with the whole um, friendship, meeting new people kind of thing. I strongly recommend to join a sport, um, join a club, do something like that be just because you're going to meet so many more people that way. I did marching band going into freshman year and sophomore year and I'm doing it this year and of course I'm probably going to do it next year. So just from doing marching band throughout the summer going into freshman year, I already knew so many more for so many people and it was just great and it was really comforting to see familiar faces in the hallway. I still made friends outside of them but you know it just made things easier because you already know these people. So join a sport or a club or any extracurricular activity like that because those are always great and also it keeps you busy too and um, I know like I said like with the workload and homework and stuff from high school it's hard to balance that with um, sports if you play like a sport or if you're part of clubs and all that stuff and also to balance your physical and mental health and your social life. So high school is really hard to balance everything out. I still haven't gotten my crap together. I don't know. I, I probably sound dramatic but it's hard to balance a lot of things in high school. It's honestly a good thing to be part of extracurriculars um, for one thing for college. It's good to be a part of a little bit of everything and um, you want to feel like you belong I guess because in high school it's just filled with all sorts of people. And I'm not saying you have to be part of a clique, but it's a lot easier if you are part of something like a sport, or if you're in marching band, or if you do music, or if you're really into art, or if you, I don't know, are on the debate team. It's just easier. You could do like a lot of different things and have like a lot of different friends. So I don't know. I just feel like it's easier when you're part of multiple things. It's good to have something other than schoolwork on your mind. The first day, um, what I think you should expect on the first day is to see a lot of different new people and you need to be prepared to meet new people. You need to be prepared to step out of your shell, get out of your comfort zone, meet new people, make new friends. Um, you're going to be in this high school for the next four years. I mean, unless you move, but um, with all these people, you need to get to know some of them, and it's great to get to know people. Don't be that kid that's late to class. 
<laughs> um, if that's your thing, hey, go for it, but honestly, just be on time to class because this is really important. Going into high school, I didn't really think um, about my future as much, and I didn't really realize how much it would really like matter at the beginning. I mean, I knew it would, like the grades and everything for like college and my future and whatnot, but, you know, it didn't really hit me that I really needed to start thinking about my career and what I was going to do after high school. Like, I do have time. I mean, I still have, like, two more years. But um, as a freshman, I was thinking, wow, I, I have four years. It's fine, you know. It goes by super fast. And it's great. I mean, it's fine if you don't know what you want to do. But um, just be prepared to just start thinking about that kind of stuff because high school kind of forces you to. Um, it flies by fast because I can't believe I'm already halfway done. It's crazy. <laughs> I still feel like a freshman, honestly, but I'm going to be a junior this fall. What? It all matters in the end. So just keep in mind, you want to graduate. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to graduate, but you should graduate. Think about it. All those years you put into school, you want to graduate. You want a diploma at the end of the road. So think about that. I feel like I'm missing a ton of stuff, so please, if you have any other questions, put them in the comments down below. And like this video if you enjoyed, if you want to see more high school slash school related videos because the school year is right around the corner and I can definitely do some more back to school types of videos if you guys want me to. Okay, so I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next Sunday. Bye. We actually have a surprise planned for our one of our best friends tomorrow because she's actually leaving us and moving away. But we decided to do a lunch for her instead, so we're actually... <laughs> I don't think Olivia has looked